welcome back to my channel. Today is not going to be a fun episode. <laughs> so if you're interested in some fun gardening with great results, this is not the episode. So feel free to skip the whole thing. And maybe next episode will be something more fun. Today is pest control day. Yes. Oh, first of all, I <laughs> this is something that is actually growing good. Uh, in the last episode, I showed some early start of some grass <laughs> that looks like this now. It's growing like crazy. And I asked if somebody could name <laughs> name it. I I would still not guess what it is because this is way out of my element. And somebody did. Um, somebody with the name of Ice Medge. 21k or something special like that I'm gonna private message you because I promised to send one of all the seed types that I have this um, this winter it's about I don't know almost 20 I think almost 20 varieties and that person just guessed correct so this is actually rice <laughs> yes I'm growing rice inside now this is this is um, a special rice. I don't remember the name. If I can find it, I'll put it somewhere here. It's supposed to grow really well without being soaked or submerged all the way like normal rice. So this is one that actually can grow in directly in soil, but it has to be a really, really wet soil. So uh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> because it's filled with water almost and it looks like it's thriving so this is gonna be fun to to watch I don't know how long it takes but um, according to my real source which is Google uh, it's supposed to take um, quite some uh, a few months so we will just see if that I can uh, grow them inside here there's probably way 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 too many in this pot but I didn't know how to germinate these and I didn't know how successful they will germinate and it looks like everything came up. So if it, if it gets crowded we'll just have to, to pick it out. And I don't know how, how tall these get. Something tells me that if it's like a grass it will grow really tall and we might have a problem. So yeah, we will just see how that goes. on to the fun part. I recently discovered that my garden is full of trips. Those nasty little boogers. I'll try to insert an image that I took right here now. And yeah, that looks bad and it's nasty. I hate those. So, at first I didn't realize it because I've had aphids and I've had, which, which was prob probably, yeah, among the easiest to get rid of. I had fungus gnats all, <laughs> since I started this garden about a year ago, I had fungus gnats and they haven't been a big issue for me because I got some predatory mites for those. I got one called Hypoaspis miles, I think. I'll put the name somewhere. And they are doing very well in here. They, they have a life cycle and they can go up to, I think it's about 80 days without food. And if they get really, really starved, they can eat off uh, rotting leaves and um, compost. So they will survive and yes, they do. I have those mites running everywhere in in the soil and they stay in the soil and I have sometimes I see a fungus gnat in here and I just <laughs> because um, they now have food so and they are thriving and phenomenally then I got this summer I got the spider mite attack which devastated all my long-term plants which are my citrus trees and um, yeah, most of the citrus trees and the bananas. Um, they didn't 
care that much for my peppers. I, I didn't have a huge problem for, for it on those, but my basil got attacked and suddenly everything was attacked. So I used my trusted friend, the pyrethrin spray, which I uh, have in a spray container. And I sprayed everywhere and I somewhat got rid of the problem. But then I thought just in case, because I'm doing this almost all the way the wrong way, I think, because I have so much soil in this grow room. There's just tons of soil in this room and there is no way I can get rid of everything without spraying and possibly killing all my other predators. So I thought, why not <laughs> battle evil, evil with more evil? <laughs> so I got some um, more predatory mites, which are specific for spider mites. I'll put the name here. And they did m not exactly perfect. They, they did get rid of stuff, but I couldn't see the huge difference. So uh, I would say the best success I had for the spider mites was to just cut everything down um, uh, and just spray with pyrethrin. And that just seems to do the best for me. And now I got the fourth pest. And as I've seen online, it seems like these are the four pests that you normally will, will battle. You will get some other things, but the most common ones are, are the fungus gnats, the thrips, spider mites and aphids. And now I have every, I've had everything. Well, currently I have only one and that is the dreaded thrips. Um, I didn't think I had any problem at first because I think it started on a couple of my pepper plants. Um, I noticed they looked overwatered because they had um, they had what is it called um, uh, pepper leaf edema, which are those it looks like sugar on the underside of the leaves, and that's because my big uh, grow box the the dirt from when I uh, watered out the cocoa peat to to mix the dirt, it contained too much water and the the plants never really sucked it up. I almost haven't watered it for, yeah, I would say uh, quite some time. I almost never water because uh, there's so much moisture in, in the soil already. So I thought that's, that's okay. Uh, my plant seems to be getting too much water. And it, it, it was just some standard problem for me. Well, after a couple of weeks, the leaves started to get really big brown spots. And I <laughs> naively thought that, well, that's probably because of all the pepper leaf edema and then after a while the leaves will just curl up and, and f fall off, which, which is true, but um, not how it panned out because everything started to, to just rot away, all the leaves and the peppers, they, stopped growing and they started to dry out which was strange because the plant got uh, enough water by far so that couldn't be the issue and then I started to look closely at it with my magnifying glass and of course I saw thrips and I just got online and asked some of my friends at the pepper lover community and I of course asked Ray and he's just He's so nice because everything I throw at him, he always comes back with an answer and I just thank him so much for, for doing that. And it really helps me out. So yes, you have trips, he said. So, and uh, good luck. <laughs> so I've been battling those. I did spray um, some of my plants with pyrethrin and it, it works, but it's not foolproof. And since I have so many things going, the, um, my eggplants are huge and the cucumbers and everything and they got attacked so bad and, and that's the pest that kind of takes like four days to go from zero to a million and they decimated so much that I had in, in this grow box now 
I lost one, two, three, four peppers. I lost two cucumbers and I lost two eggplants. And there's looks like there's more to come. There are a couple of eggplants that are, are doing phenomenally, but they seem to have some kind of a problem with it. So I hope this will solve the case. And I have my nice uh, passion fruit vine going all the way from over there, over there and up here and it's growing everywhere. And yeah, I'll just show you. Yeah, I just picked this one off. This is what the leaves will look like. And if I look closely, I will most definitely see trips. Um, they just start, start to rot and then they just fall off. Yes, I'm gonna clean that later. So I thought, well, there's, uh, I've had luck with predatory mites. So I thought if there is a predatory mite for this that I can live with, because this is actually inside and it's my office over there. And uh, I keep, keep my computer and, and everything. And I do some um, working from home over there. And I don't want something here that bites me or <laughs> does horrible things. So I, I looked it up online and I think I came up with something. So I ordered from LOG, which is a Norwegian distributor for all things gardening uh, on a huge scale. So I'm just a, a small fish in a big pond. And uh, they sent me some stuff today. And I'm really excited because it came packed cool. And this is hopefully some new friends. <laughs> It's 50,000 of these. So this is, what is it called? Um, Amblyseus cucumeris. That's 99% sure wrong. So I'm just going to put the name here. These are predatory mites. They will eat um, trips, especially the small trips and the eggs. And what I read online, they actually will eat the eggs from my predatory mites for spider mites. So <laughs> it's really going to be um, a war up here. And um, <laughs> I expect to, um, to see some uh, crazy action. But these are supposed to do really well on, on trips. And trips are easy, easier than spider mites, I would say, to to distinguish the, the different types because trips, as I've seen online, it's if you have something that can handle trips, then they can handle all sorts or varieties of, of trips. But on spider mites, it's a little bit different because you have so many types of spider mites and it depends on what type of plants they attack and everything. And the predatory mites, they will eat some of the types, but not all of them. So. I'm not sure what I had. I asked three different vendors for pest control and they all came back with different ideas on, on what, what kind of spider mite I actually had. So I don't know. That might be the reason why they didn't work that well. So, but this I have high hopes for and they should go perfectly with my hypoaspis miles for um, fungus gnats. So I'm not expecting any problem with that. What I'm gonna do is just sprinkle this all around. This, um, this is actually 50,000 of them and they come in this tube with, um, I think they're packed in vermiculite. So it's just easy. It's like a, it's like a pepper, uh, <laughs> pepper shaker. You just open it up and just uh, sprinkle it everywhere. And what I do is I sprinkle it on the leaves, on, on the pest um, infested uh, plants and gener generally I just try to, to get a little bit of dash on, on everything that I have in here just to make sure that everything is covered. And it's, <laughs> it's more than enough because they say that you should use less, probably less than what I have here. But that's when you're doing a huge, huge area, then it will really mean something because it would be a waste of money because if you get too much I, my guess is that they will probably starve and, and just die off. But I only needed one bag and there's no way to buy less. And this cost $20 or something. 
plus shipping so it wasn't that bad either way so I'm just gonna sprinkle it all in and see how it goes so yeah I yes this is one of the this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna put the camera a little bit closer or bring you a little bit closer and then you can see when I shake it out because I'm really curious to see how this looks it's probably not gonna be visible to the camera and I can barely barely see them I think because they're tiny tiny creatures they're less than a millimeter so we're not gonna see that much but we will see the vermiculite and um, that's just a proof that I actually have been doing some work so just uh, stay tuned and I'll bring, bring you a little bit closer <laughs> Let's kill those bastards! As you can see, this is not a good looking plant anymore. This is my chili, one of my chilies. And as you can see, they have nice ripened pods, but you might be able to see it, they are bone dry in the ends. And they're starting to dry up all the way. And as you can see, on the top, of the plant you, you won't be able to see it but it just breaks apart and there's brown spots everywhere so that just means that yeah they are not doing very well um, here are a couple of leaves and as you can see they are they are not looking good they they just fall off and you can just rip out. <laughs> I just took out the whole section here right now. It's just, it's just falling apart. What I'm going to do after I, um, I put the mites on, I'm, I'm just going to put on the mites before, before I uh, chop down the whole plant because I want them to be able to, to catch those boogers before I take it apart because when I take it apart, they're just going to fly everywhere, I think. So I'm just going to try to to put the mites in and see if they can handle a little bit of an action on this first and then I'm going to cut it way down and see if it will survive. I doubt it though, but yeah. My um my um shishito which is just beside you can see it over here. It's it's coming back from the dead. I just cut it down a couple of days ago. And it's starting to, to bud up and come back now, so that's probably going to survive, but I don't have my hopes too high for this. And here we have the container. So, okay. Let's just see how this works. Oh, I need to, to pop the thing. That's like opening a can of worms. They're probably going to crawl out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's vermiculite. So I'm just going to sprinkle in. There's quite a bit in here, so... And this is the most infected plant, so I'm just going to keep... Keep my main focus on this one. And let's just see if there's something crawling. Oh, there probably is, but... I'm not able to see it right now, but let's just continue spraying this. So this is what I'm going to do the next minutes and uh, yeah, I'll uh, come back talk to you later. Let's keep our fingers crossed, please. <laughs> I'm going to need all the help I can get right now. Let's hope this works. I think it will because I love those predatory mites and I think they're gonna do a great job. I'm sorry for not being able, uh, oh, well, I haven't been able to, to post for a couple of weeks now because things have been happening. There's um, my family, some of them have been sick and we got married and uh, there's stuff been going on everywhere. So it's been a little bit of a hectic period and I've been uh, doing the seed giveaway so which by the way they are going out in the mail starting now and you will hopefully i i have to post a list of um i'll do that in uh, within a, a few days i'll post a list of everything uh, of everyone that actually 
got the seeds because there was a huge amount of people. I think I got almost close to 500 requests. Yes, 500 requests for seeds. So that's more than I have and I'm sorry about that, but at least one out of five of you will, will um, get a packet of seeds in the mail. So yeah, I will be doing that shortly and uh, I will post a, a short video with all the, um, the first names of the people that actually um, won. So stay tuned for that. And I really don't have much more to say. I will just in the end of the video, I will show you something that is actually growing well. And I think we're going to have eggplants this uh, winter. This, well, almost sure it's this Christmas. I'm not sure how long they have to stay on the vine to ripen. Not sure at all, but we're just going to see. Until next time, this is Christopher saying may the force be with you. And I hope you like this video. If you like it, please uh, share it or um, yeah, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. There will be much more stupid <laughs> content coming in, uh, in the coming weeks and years, hopefully. So yeah, that's about it. Check out my Facebook page also and I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like it's crawling everywhere. <laughs> I know it's a little bit dark here, but I just wanted to show you these ones. <laughs> these are eggplants, white eggplants actually. I have no idea how large they get, but they seem to have figured out that, well, this is kind of the size we want to get to. So <laughs> hopefully they will um, start to ripen. I don't know how they ripen as I mentioned so we will just see how that works out but one of these days I'm gonna cut out open as you can see there's <laughs> vermiculite everywhere now because I put in uh, the um, the mites and the flowers are dropping They're beautiful flowers but that started just as the the plant got the pest and the trips and it just seems to to be happening to to all my plants they start to stress out and they just get rid of all the um, the the new new growth and the new um, set of flowers so that's just the way it is i guess and hopefully when i get the pest control on the way they will start to to flower again and produce some more eggplants and if that doesn't happen, I'm going to try to, to cut it down and see if it comes back. Because this is, uh, the eggplant is kind of like a tomato. It will, it will just put out new shoots and new suckers. And uh, hopefully that's something that will work. So we will just try that. But um, I'm going to show you <laughs> once I cut one of these up and see how they look on the inside. But I just love eggplants and I'm really excited. <laughs>